So after taking a look at Amazon last time around and Tesla the time before that in their respective third quarter earnings preview where we sneaked in some sentiment study, it's time for us to take a look at a tech heavy index, NASDAQ 100 or US Tech 100 or NONG's trading app and platform. Now here's the thing, when it comes to big tech, clients on our end have a tendency to hold majority buy buy. So it gets heavy. And in the case of Amazon, even went to the extremes. And to be fair, they have been beneficiaries of the gains if you're looking at it from the start of the year, which has been a significant driver, big tech in general, Magnificent Seven especially. You know, it's been a significant driver of, of the key gains that we saw in key indices that we followed, like the S&P 500. So when it comes to the index, is it also a story where they're holding majority buy buy buys? Well, let's go ahead and get into that. We're actually taking a look here at the IG Klein sentiment week on week changes, the outer circle at the start of this week, where yes, they are in majority buy territory, but at the start of last week, they were actually in majority sell territory, slight sell 54%, meaning that we actually got ourselves a shift between the start of last week to the start of this week as shorts get enticed into closing out and longs initiate on that pullback in price. We are going to pull the chart so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about there. What about when it comes to COT speculators? Majority buy, kicking it up out of slight buy territory to 55%, increase in long, larger than increase in shorts. But here's the thing, before you guys jump to conclusions th saying, oh, that means they're on the to the buy side when it comes to risk appetite in general, not so. They're majority sell when it comes to the Dow 30, Russell 2000, S&P 500, and in heavy sell territory when it comes to uh, uh, the Dow, at around 75%, not that far off extreme sell territory. So this is actually the exception to the rule among COT speculators. But let's go ahead and plot this stuff onto the chart, get a better idea of where they were before this and how is it that they've been positioning in this case. We're going to start with the daily chart, and then we're going to move over to the weekly chart. And I want to start with the COT speculators. Now, green dotted line is for COT, IG client blue dotted, taken from the left axis as percent long. So if you see them around 54%, it means they are majority buy and, and a minority 46% are a sell. If it goes below this red line, the 50 50 line, it means that whenever the dotted line goes below, it means that they're majority sell. Whenever it goes above, they are majority buy. And you can see this entire time, looking at the green dotted line first, this entire time up and stay very close to the middle. Briefly going slight sell back to majority buy territory, but not really over committing in that regard. What about when it comes to retail traders? Timing a little bit better, I got to say, because at the end of the day, in, during this period of time, I'm looking at it from around end of August until uh, until now, or until last week, up until last week, you can see that pretty much price has been coming back towards an average. And you can see that they've been, they've been timing that accordingly. You know, price goes up, longs get out, shorts initiated, comes back down, shorts get out, longs initiate, and they go back and forth until now price goes down. What happens? Uh, shorts get enticed to closing out and longs start to initiate. And that's the reason why they're in close proximity. You can see right over there, not far off from each other. What about when it comes to weekly time frame? Here's where it starts to get a little bit more interesting because you look at the weekly time frame. Look at that nice bullish move that caught, took a lot of people, caught a lot of people off guard over here since the start of the year. It's been an amazing run, outperforming, and then afterwards you have a little bit of a bear trend channel forming over here towards the end. But prior to that, significant moves. Let's go to map sentiment on top of it so we can see where where traders were during this period of time. I'm going to start with the with the uh, green dotted COT speculators never going throughout this entire period of time, never reaching 35% or below, never going 65% or above, never going into heavy buy or heavy sell territory. It's been the entire time uh, either, either near the middle, slight buy, slight sell, or moderate sell and moderate buy levels. Uh, when it came to this move uh, over here, when it started to gain, they did shift from majority short, so they were, they were caught off guard on this. They got this part wrong. They did go to majority buy territory, but then afterwards they started to pull out a little bit too soon in this case, where as, as it's going up and then after it's shifting, this part they time quite well in terms of shifting to majority sell and then now going back towards majority buy. What about when it comes to retail traders? In this case, great, great move from over here. In this case, they were they were holding, uh, they, they held on into heavy buy, not far off extreme buy, uh, buy territory. And as price went up, they were a little bit too close, quick to get out. Uh, when it pulled back, they went back into majority buy territory, but never really got to heavy buy. And then came the big run over here, which took sentiment to heavy into heavy sell territory because of some of these pullbacks it did offer a chance for some to average their way out. Never going though to extreme sell, just mainly staying within heavy sell territory. And in the first chance when, when markets really offered a significant pullback, you saw them move all the way back close to near the middle. And then trying to, to some extent, trade the uh, uh, the levels on this bear, bear channel. Let me go ahead and pull up just trading platform, give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. This is the daily time frame. I put in a rough bear trend channel. It is quite, it is quite large. I wouldn't I mean, there, it's a very blurred line between calling this a more consolidatory ver versus a bare average technical overview. I don't want to get into technicals here, but you get the idea of what's happening over here, that if indeed, the, if it does manage to hold to some extent, you are going to see them start to trade this a bit more. And that means that they are going to be going towards heavy buy territory, extreme sell based on where things are headed. Likelier than not, they'll probably get there uh, as we approach, you know, as we approach key support levels, which we're at one right now, which also coincides with the lower end of the channel. 
as, excuse me, the lower end of the uh, Bollinger Band, as well as the lower end of the channel. So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. Good luck out there. And as always, happy ticks. <laughs>